Hi, hey, hello, and welcome back to another video, guys. We're doing the final episode of the cut content for Call of Duty, and I just wanted to say before we start this thing, thank you so much for all the support on all the videos. It has meant so much to me. I appreciate every single one of you guys, and I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get right into it. Starting off with campaign, obviously we know that Black Ops 4 does not have a campaign, but that's because it's scrapped and the campaign went through a lot of different phases, so we'll go over that right now, starting with the career mode. This career mode was a 2v2 race to the finish, where obviously two teams of two try to complete objectives the fastest. Very strange way to have your campaign be set up, but whatever. The career mode would then be scrapped as work started on Blackout, the battle royale for Black Ops 4. But Black Ops 4 still needed some single player content so they of course created the Specialist HQ. Which speaking of which actually has two cut missions being Outback Roadhouse which you would have played as Battery and Rescue Torque and Vengeance, which would have been centered around Seraph. The intro cutscene for the Specialist HQ was originally meant to have a battle sequence, which you can see the storyboard for right now. There is one cut mission from the campaign being Breaker, which was a tutorial mission. And finally for campaign, there was meant to be onboarding missions for each Specialist, which I'm assuming is not what we have now with the Specialist HQ. Moving on to multiplayer, we have several cut weapons being the KN44, HVK30, FFAR, BRM, SVG, Dracon, MR6, KRM, Brecci, and Minigun. So basically just a bunch of Black Ops 3 weapons that did not make it into Black Ops 4. There are 5 cut attachments being the Hybrid Optic, AP Rounds, Steel Pellets, Slugshot, Uber, and Wildfire. There was also meant to be integrated attachments such as a built-in suppressor on the vapor. There are several cut maps for base multiplayer as well as the cut war mode. The standard maps being Breakers, Iceberg, Museum, Urban, and Unknown. And the war maps being Tekeze, Valencia, Shipbreakers, and Glacier Dam. Cut game modes for Black Ops 4 include Demolition, Escalation Game, where players would start with a pistol and must gather specialist weapons from the ground. Frontline, where you must eliminate the enemy team. Hostage. Infiltration, where teams take turns attacking and defending power cells. Payload, which is pretty self-explanatory. Stronghold, where teams take turns capturing or defending a singular zone. Uplink from Black Ops 3 and War from COD World War 2. There is one cut specialist being Blackjack, obviously he appears in Black Ops 3 and would have probably worked similar to how he does in Black Ops 3 in Black Ops 4. Similar to games like Overwatch, Black Ops 4's specialists were meant to be separated into different classes, those classes being the Slayer class, where every Slayer Specialist would have been able to unlock the Thrust Pack. The Specialists included were Blackjack, Ruin, Seraph, and Spectre. The Objective Class, where Objective Specialists could capture objectives faster, those Specialists being Ajax, Battery, Prophet, and Reaper. And the Support Class, where Specialists could create a forward spawn, with those Specialists being Nomad, Firebreak, Recon, Torque, Zero, Outrider, and Crash. There were also role exclusive weapons with each role having certain weapons that were only able to be used if you selected that role. For example, if you selected the Slayer role, you had access to the Swordfish, while the Objective and Support roles did not. There was a cut gameplay mechanic known as Escalation, where each specialist could become stronger throughout the match, earning score through objectives and kills. Each specialist could unlock different abilities such as increased health, increased firepower, and even a thrust pack which would have allowed you to gain an exosuit. There was a lot of different cut specialist equipment that was scrapped from the game, those being Alarm, Ammo Crate, Arm Blade, Armor Generator, Armor Regen, Breach Launcher, Camera Spike, Claymore, Cleanse, Collapse Grenade, Concussion, Semtex, Death Grenade, Dot Grenade, Field Engineering Kit, Frag Gun, Flashbang, Foam Grenade, Grapple Axe, Hacker Tool, Health Boost, Health Regen Squad, Invulnerability, Jammer, Mini Wraps, Mini Turret, Mute Smoke, Nightingale, Pulse Grenade, Self Destruct, Shock Charge, Smoke Screen, Sprint Boost, 
and Team Sprint. There are three specialist weapons that are cut from the game being Combat Rally for Seraph, the earlier version of the TAC-5, and the Black Ops 3 version of the Tempest. Originally, specialists would not only have specialist equipment and their specialist weapon, but also would have an ultimate. Most of these ultimates for the specialists are just killstreaks, such as the Hellstorm Missile for Ruin or the Sentry Gun for Torque. However, there are some specialist ultimates that were completely scrapped and aren't even in the game currently, such as the Orbital VSAT for Recon, the Reaper Shield for Reaper, the Poison Bow, the Quickshot Bow, and the Sensor Bow for Outrider, and the Survival Mounted MG for Reaper. There is one cut perk being the Reveal perk, which would have heavily increased your Fog of War Reveal radius. This was then replaced by Team Link. There are four cut score streaks from the game being the Power Core, Riot Squad, Tank Robot, and Wraith. There was another cut gameplay mechanic known as Resistances, which would have allowed you to have resistance to certain effects, such as blind giving you resistance to visual and audio impairments, damage giving you resistance against damage and explosives, paralyze resistance against paralyzing and stun debuffs, radiation resistance against poison and burning, shell shock resistance against handling distortion and flinch, and slowed giving you resistance against slowing and movement hindering effects. There was another gameplay mechanic that was cut from the game known as traits which is another passive and it would have given your specialist positive or negative perks such as blackjack having increased reserve ammo or reduced visual flinch. And once again another passive thing for your specialist we have specialties being armor regen, armor pickups, double jump, forward spawn, fast interact, and wall run. Some other cut mechanics mechanics from the game were sprint slowdown where if you depleted your stamina meter you could still run but at a slower speed so kind of similar to what we have in black ops cold war mag dropping where if you reloaded and still had ammo left in your mag that ammo would be lost and not go back into your reserve and a completely different spawn system where you would be able to deploy in either your spawn or on different objectives such as in domination maybe spawning on b flag Obviously, this was kind of implemented in Seraph's tact deploy for her specialist ability, but originally you were able to spawn pretty much anywhere on the map with different beacons. Moving on to Blackout, we have a cut location being the Milovan Hotel, which would have been a finished version of construction site. We have two bosses that were meant for the Alcatraz map being the Avogadro and Brutus, but they were cut from the game. The transit bus would have also made its return in the main Blackout map. There are three cut items being the double jump, which would have obviously allowed you to double jump, Stimulant, which was the perk that allowed you to increase your max health by 100 points, and the attack 5 for multiplayer. Moving on to zombies, we have several cut zombies maps being Morocco, Russia, Blue, Transit, Buried, and Great War. There's also two cut game modes for zombies being Grief and TCM or Treyarch's Custom Mutations, which was a planned series of game modes that would have offered specialized sets of custom mutations for specific zombies maps. Newton's Cookbook from Black Ops 3 would have returned into Black Ops 4 where you would have been able to craft elixirs and talismans of course we have a cut feature from black ops for zombies that everyone knows factions where you could have joined one of four factions those being blood faith tempest novi dustborn and the first legion you would have basically been able to unlock exclusive rewards for your faction by completing callings there is a cut alpha omega cutscene that was planned to be made basically just like all the other cutscenes that we have cgi mo capped but unfortunately due to time restraints it was cut. There is a cut NPC that would have appeared in the Great War map known as the Crusader. There is a cut mini boss known as the Brute which was actually reworked into the Megaton in D Machine from Black Ops Cold War. There are three cut wonder weapons being the Amulet Fist, which was then repurposed into the Eye of Apophis melee weapon in multiplayer, the Jet Gun, which would have appeared on Transit, and the Wonderwaff DG2. There are several pieces of equipment that were cut from the game being Thermite, Cluster Grenades, Shock Charges, Molotov, Concussion, 
flashbang, EMP, Tesla coil, and tomahawk. Three perks were cut being Juggernog, Speed Cola, and Widow's Wine. Three elixirs were cut from the game that were actually Gobblegums in Black Ops 3, those being Board Games, Crawl Space, and Respin Cycle. Two talismans were cut from the game being Extra Cluster Grenade and Extra Molotov. The Death Machine was meant to be a power-up and would use the model of the Scythe that Reaper has in its multiplayer. And finally for Zombies, every map was meant to have a narrative room which in the game's code is known as lore room which would have probably given you well lore and is speculated to be part of a greater super easter egg not only were you able to give your specialist face paint but you could also give them some fancy hats and there is an earlier version of dark matter known as singularity that was cut from the game and i'm not gonna lie this one kind of looks better that is the longest amount of content we have in a call of duty game and it just goes to show how ambitious black ops 4 really was i mean Black Ops 4 was supposed to technically have a second season, a second Black Ops pass that was completely cut and scrapped due to obviously the yearly releases of Call of Duty, which is a shame because Black Ops 4 could have been so much more than it is and Black Ops 4 is just kind of mid now, but it could have been so much more.